If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week Week 10 reveals. The lower guys, the higher guys, the top guys, the Patrick Mahomes update, which is actually pretty cool that they did go ahead and do, which they should have done from the beginning, but it is what it is, as well as guys going over the free MCS token player reveal and the free 97 player as well. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys, and of course, use the channel. And you guys know what's going on, guys, Team of the Week, weekly thing. It's uh, based on play performances from Sunday as well as potentially Monday, sometimes. And guys, if you guys want to check out Underdog down below, which is the daily fantasy app that I did partner with, I will have a code and link down below for you guys to go ahead and get up to a free $100 when you do, do your initial deposit, as well as, guys, if you need coins, head down below to my coin sponsor. Let's get into this, guys. So we have Jamal Adams, strong safety for one of the Team of the Week past heroes, LTD, 95 overall Jamal Adams is pretty crazy. You know, the, the joke around has been Blitzboy lately, but in terms of Mutt, he always has great cards, right? This card will get up to a 93 speed, 94 excel. He's like six foot two or six foot three. He'll get 95 tackle, 96 play rec, 96 pursuit, 88 man, 94 zone, 97 hit power. This card's probably the best safety in the game, or at least up there. Up there, regardless, right? Of regardless of the safety, he's gonna be good. He always plays well. He always lays the boom. Usually gets some good abilities. Next we have Jake Plummer as one of the legend quarterbacks uh, for the week. 86 speed's not bad, 92 throw power, 91 short, 94 medium, 89 deep, 91 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, 92 play action. This card's going to be great regardless. I mean, not great, he's not going to be meta, but this card's going to be good because he does get above all the thresholds and you power him up, as well as the 87 speed. Scrambler type, I mean, really bad archetype in general, so he's not going to be meta, but he's not a bad card. Uh, if you needed him for like a Cardinal Steam team or whatever, he's not bad. Devin White. One of the lower guys, the key thing here, guys, he will be getting a plus one on his LTD card, I believe, so that's pretty cool. Stefan Diggs, again, 83 overall, will be getting a plus one on his card, which I think was LTD as well. So these cards are just important because if you guys have Stefan Diggs in your team and you, you think he's been needing a speed upgrade, there you go. You got a plus one there. Got Bobby McCain, cornerback. Now, that's probably his highest card, so that's going to be his card in general. 90 speed, 91 excel, 87 zone. Probably pretty good on a Washington football team theme team as like a third, fourth, fifth cornerback. Robert Hunt, now this card's actually pretty cool. They did go ahead and give him a fullback card for that almost big play he had where, like, they threw the screen to Miles Gaskin and he just went and caught it, which people may say, like, you know, if he didn't catch it, Gaskin would have got the ball, but that is not true. If you watch the play, like, that was thrown off. It was thrown off balance. Gaskin was kind of stuck on the lineman. Robert Hunt did what he could. I'm pretty sure that play wouldn't have counted regardless, right? But still really cool. And he technically scored the touchdown. So, I mean, again, it was called back, but he did, like, highlight-wise, he made the highlight. And that's pretty cool because you can actually go ahead and put him at fullback, you know, powered up. He'll get 90 lead blocking, 90 impact blocking, 85 run blocking, 85 catching, 81 speed. It's actually not a bad fullback at all. Sam Reddick, this will be his highest card, but this is pretty good. I mean, 90 finesse move with 89 tackle powered up as well as 89 speed, 91 excel. Going to be a good right end. We got CD Lamb. CD Lamb gets, this is actually his best card because his last card was an 88. So this will be CD's Lam CD Lamb's best card. Now, they haven't given CD Lamb too much love this year. I think he will be getting a Thanksgiving Blitz or a Christmas card for sure at like a 95, 96 overall at some point. But he does get this card, which is technically his plus one, but it's really not, right? He gets up to a 91. But only thing I'll really get that's good is going to be the 90 short out running with 93 speed. Going to be a great short out runner, but not a great wide receiver just yet for Madden. Janoris Jenkins, this is the pre-reveal for tomorrow's Wild Card Wednesday, which is going to be our flashback card, cornerback 92. 92 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility, 88 jumping, 85 play rec, 92 man, 89 zone, 90 press. So powered up, he will get all above 90 man zone and press with 93 speed. So again, this is actually going to be a pretty good card. I mean, this isn't a bad card at all. Um, if you need him on a Rams steam team, a Giants steam team, and a few other places, right? Like he's going to be pretty good in that sense. So not a bad card. Jack Rabbit, pretty good card there. Next, guys, we have the broadcast day. So remember, guys, you want to be watching these MCS things and collecting your tokens. We have the conference play, which is the 26th and 27th, which we passed. Second and third, which we passed. The last chance qualifier. So we have the 15th and the 18th. That was yesterday. These are going to be some of the, the Madden National Next Championship stuff. You know, when you watch all this stuff, I mean, you get to watch some good Madden players play. But as well, like, guys, coming up in the near future, we do have two more token days coming. So as you guys hear, November 19th and the 24th, I believe, are the two you want to be watching. 7 p.m. on Twitch. So... November 19th and 24th, 7 p.m. on Twitch. Typically, guys, you have to collect certain amounts of hours. You'll know all the things when it comes up. You'll see it on Twitch with a token thing. Like, it'll give you how much time you have left. 
what i like to do is guys just put it on your laptop put it on your computer and just let it run i do do it on my phone if i'm in a pinch and like i'm out but the problem with doing your phone is then your phone's kind of locked up and you can't use it or if it goes to sleep or something so again i would recommend you get it on like a computer if you're home and just let it run in the background and then make sure you do actually go ahead and collect the stuff because you have to collect your rewards if you don't you will miss it so make sure you go ahead and collect it you'll see it all on the twitch screen so guys here we go so we have the 97 overall player this is going to be if you collect all four madden championship series you put them all in so that'll be tyree kill is the first one we have the next one coming up which i'm about to tell you guys so just make sure you're collecting them so you can get a chance at getting this 97 overall player which will probably be around like february or march give or take and then guys this is going to be the free card so we get a free 92 overall randy moss which is pretty cool uh very similar to his card that he just got for halloween or whatever back then but again free free randy moss and tyree kill those are two pretty good players already right 92 speed 91 jumping 89 catching 90 catching traffic 91 spec 86 short 87 medium 91 deep route running with the right strat card and a power up guys he will get 90 medium route running as well as deep route running and 93 speed so he's a usable card he's like six foot four six foot three so gonna be a good card nonetheless regardless of how you use him i don't think he's a meta card i don't think he's a top card but it's free so for all you budget teams and all you no money spent squads it could be used for him. and a vikings team team would be pretty good he also gets raiders theme team and pat's theme team as well so make sure you guys do go ahead and check all that out right i mean there's some good opportunity i mean he might even get another theme team that i'm missing right now but make sure you check all that out and see what you guys can go ahead and do with that but you got to watch both days now again there will be a timer like it could be you need three hours you can need like an hour the first night two hours the second night or you just need three hours total so you can get most of it or you need like four hours total you can get three hours the first night an hour the second i think that's how it works so like if you let the first day run all the way to the end you only need an hour the next day so just, you only have to get the hour in again it's on your computer it really doesn't matter just let it run but make sure it is running i've seen things like the ad this happened to me the ad goes off and the screen like freezes and it doesn't let you in or their stream freezes on their side and you got to refresh on your side and you don't know so just be checking it if you can if you're not going to be home you know I, I last time i called like my, my brother or whatever had him log into my computer on my on his computer on my twitch just do it for me so just make sure you have a, a contingency plan to get that all done in the time that you may just in case right so guys it's pretty much it mahomes gunslinger coming up here guys this is going to be the mahomes gunslinger card they did increase his overall on his throw power which i do love because he had a 93 which wouldn't have gotten gunslinger so guys the card's really good now so he gets 95 throw power which is going to be a gunslinger mahomes at a 95 overall with 94 sh with 95 short 91 medium 93 deep accuracy 94 throw under pressure 96 on the run 94 play action the card overall is going to be crazy. The card's going to be a really good card with 76 speed. I mean, the speed's a little bit low, but he is a gunslinger QB. So if you want to use Mahomes, you finally have a chance to. On a theme team too, it'll be pretty crazy. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this Mahomes card. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, my link will be down below in the description as well as my code. Make sure to use it to get up to a free $100 on your first deposit, guys. It's pretty much just free money. Go check it out. Enter some lineups. Win big, right? And then, of course, guys, if you need some coins, head down below to my coin sponsor. That's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.